I've always had an interest in science and technology, but more to that, I've always had an interest on how that actually has an effect on people. My name is Ross, I'm from the UK. I did a bachelor's degree in history and politics. After that, I worked a little bit in policy um, for a local authority on housing and homelessness. Right at the beginning of the specialisation, we've been learning about systems and very a broad overview of what is innovation? How does a system work? How do you get a new technology? How does science happen? Innovation is a moving field by definition, so you need to stay up to date. For instance, nowadays, a topic of general interest is what can be the impact of artificial intelligence on the job market. We talk about sustainability, we talk about human development, we talk about how policies and how innovation work together. Our institute has a long tradition in the field of economics of innovation. And what we do is to try to leverage on this network to bring practitioners in class. We use R, we use data, we use these types of programs to get insights and to generate new insights into what's actually happening. I did a three year bachelor's degree and I've been here for less than a year and I've probably learned more in the time that I've been here. The techniques and the methods that you're using, you see actually, you know, direct, tangible impacts on what you're doing and how it actually affects other people. My motivation is the need to respond to the challenges of the new technology and essentially to transform these challenges in opportunity for the students. Behind the technology there are humans. Studying innovation with a policies perspective means that there should be the right connection between innovation and goals that you want to achieve through innovation. We do our best to teach the student how to formulate arguments based of course on the theory. If you need a little bit of a helping hand after a tutorial, the staff are all very good and they will help you but then it's the students as well. There's a strong community network here. We have the Demos Study Association. We also have a podcast where we have researchers who work at the university and we bring them in and we talk about, you know, what drives them, what they're interested in and their sort of research and they talk with the students. My advice is uh, to stay uh, curious, be critical, try to uh, create your own opinion. We especially hope that once they are done with the programme, they can see the world with a different length and perspective. Because it's not just about the technologies themselves, it's much more about actually how it has an effect and how it can help us in the future. Mm -hmm.